In Android, the list view is the centerpiece in most of the Android applications. For instance, if you take a look at the contacts application or if you take a look at the phone call application, you will see the list view plays a very important role in displaying data to the user. So in order to make it even more easier, Android provides you a list view activity that you can use when you have a list view in your layout. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. First thing we're going to change is we're going to the list view XML and we're going to change the ID of the list view. And here you can see we have created a new ID by using the at the rate of plus ID slash notation. And instead of this ID, we are going to use a built-in Android ID that is at the rate of Android column ID slash list. Let's go ahead and save this. And now we have a built-in ID for the list view. Now let's go ahead to our list view activity to Java. And here we're going to change the extends activity into extends list activity. Let's go ahead and re-import. We're almost done. And since this activity supports lists, we're going to remove this reference variable. And we're also going to remove this find view by ID call. And third, we're going to remove this call and we're going to replace it with the set list adapter call for the fruits adapter. So what we did now was we removed the reference variable to the list view, we removed the find view by ID call to the list view and also we replaced the list view instance dot set adapter call with the list activity dot set list adapter call. Let's go ahead and run this program. Save the list view dot XML and switch to, to the emulator. And you can also see that we have the same list. Switching to the list activity has two main advantages. The first one, it offers you a lot of convenience methods that allow you to access the list as well as the list adapter. And the second advantage is, it allows you to specify an empty view, that is, there are cases where your list view could be empty and you can use an empty view to tell the user that there is no data in the list view. And in case if your list view has data items, the empty view will automatically be hidden by the list activity and your list view will be visible to the user. So the empty view is automatically managed by the list activity itself. This is one more important advantage that a list activity can offer. Let me show you how to do this. Go to the editor and in the strings.xml, we're going to add another string resource that says there are no items on the list. This will be the message that will be displayed by our empty view, which is going to be a text view. So let's go ahead and say string name is equal to empty message sorry there are no fruits this is the message that we're going to display now let's go to the list view.xml and here go to list view.xml which is the xml view and here we're going to create a text view which has an id that is called the empty id id slash empty it is important that the empty view should have this ID. This is also a built-in Android ID, which is at the rate of Android colon ID slash empty. So this is how you specify an empty view, give it an empty ID. And we're going to give it a width, which is going to match the parent. And we're also going to give it a height, which is which will also match the parent and the gravity is going to be the center of the screen. And we're going to give this text to which is empty message. Save this. Let's go and take a look at the graphical editor. Here
here is our empty text view which says sorry there are no fruits. Now let's go ahead and run this application once again and switch to the emulator. And you can see the empty view is not visible, only the list view is visible. That's because since our list view has items, the empty view is automatically hidden by the list activity. And to test this, we are going to go back to the list view activity. And instead of the fruits array, I'm going to pass in an empty data array, which is new string array. And this is an empty array because there, is, there are no items inside the string array. Let's go ahead and run this once again. I'm going to switch to the emulator. And you can see that we have the empty view, that is the empty text view, which says, sorry, there are no fruits. And you also notice that we did not write any code to detect for the number of items on the list. The list activity can handle that by itself. So in this video, I showed you how to move from an activity to a list activity. And I also showed you how to use an empty view with your list activity. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.